Hi, Sarah Silverman, Al Martin here. It's been a long time we haven't spoken, and uh, I noticed your video on the internet yesterday. And um, the quality was real good, but I could tell you that uh, the content was absolutely false. So I was out with my friend Todd Barry, and we were doing sets around town together. And, uh, you know, I was pretty well known already, and we both did back to back 15 minute sets at this club, the New York Comedy Club. And uh, he paid me 10 bucks, and it was a Saturday night. I didn't think anything of it, you know. And we were outside talking, and um, Todd somehow brought up that he, you know, mentioned that he got 60 bucks. <laughs> he just got $60, and I just got $10. We did the exact same time, back to back, on the same show. And so I went back inside, and I, t and I asked the owner, Al Martin, and I said, Al, you, why did you pay me $10 and you gave Todd Berry $60? And he, you know, it's so perfect, because he goes, uh, oh, did you want a $60 spot? It was symbolic. I didn't need $60. I mean, I, I but it's, um, you know, it's pretty shitty. I think the best person for the job should get jobs. I, I, I'm all for women having to work harder to prove themselves at this juncture. That's the way it is in the world. But if you work a job and a man is working the same job, you should be getting paid the same. You see, when you're gonna tell a story on the internet, you should be truthful. And the truth is that you were not booked on that show in question that evening. You were a guest spot. You came in with Todd Barry. Todd Barry was a booked spot that night. And at the end of his spot, he received his pay. You did your guest spot, left. You started talking to Todd outside. I guess you found out he was paid, assumed you should get paid. Then you came back to me and asked for pay. I felt bad. You were starting to get some stuff uh, on TV, and I didn't want to have a bad relation with you. So I decided to give you some cab fare. Apparently you misunderstood that to say that I pay women less than men, which is a totally unsubstantiated charge. My wife is a woman. Here's a bulletin for you. My wife is a woman. And I'd be very upset as a teacher that works long hours if she didn't get the same as a male in the same job. My daughter works for a company and if she didn't get the same pay as a male, I'd be pretty upset. As a matter of fact, Sarah, I have three daughters, and I have a mother, and if she didn't get paid as much, I'd have been pretty upset as well. You know our comic community, Sarah. There's no way that I can get away with paying men more than paying women. But if there's a guest spot, basically the rule is it's a guest spot. I didn't ask you to be on that show 15 years ago. And if I would have asked you, I would have paid you what the other comics were getting paid on the show. So here is the fairness of it, Sarah. It's not a gender gap, although I think it's a noble cause, but at the time it was a talent gap. You were not on that show that night, but Todd Barry was. So let's get the cause right now if you're talking equal pay for women i think that's a great cause because as the father of daughters as the son of a mother as a husband of a wife all women i want equal pay for women and it's a great cause but don't make me your doormat in this cause because it isn't true